let me just show you some of the features of this particular car. One little thing that I think is kind of fun is, for airflow purposes, of course, we have this, which um, retracts at speed. Good for circuit. Um, it can be locked in place. Um, now, a lot of parts are interchangeable. We did have to do some modifications, and I'll list them later, to make um, Civic Type R sized discs with a four stud 114.3 hub pattern fit on the original CRX hubs. Um, as you can see there, NSX calipers. And those are 282 at the front, if I'm not mistaken. And at the back, we have 260 sized um, Civic Type R discs. Again, obviously four stud 114.3. PCD. Um, I do like the uh, glass roof. It's something that a lot of CRX uh, enthusiasts um, particularly like. Um, and I would say with uh, a roof like that, it's essential to have air conditioning. And that was something that I spent a long time um, making possible for this car because parts are no longer available. And uh, things like dryers are not, they disintegrate, and it causes all sorts of problems. But I'll, I'm happy to tell people how I got around it. Those wheels, as you see there, they're Mugen MF8s, which are very rare, um, very expensive and very desirable these days. I wish I'd bought a whole bunch of them. Um, and there are lots and lots of features um, you know, that uh, are included in this car, such as, you know, electric uh, folding mirrors, um, these uh, um, side visors, and other things, such as these taillights I sourced from the US because I like the little corner um, in red. The little garnish in the middle, I modified to say Mugen, just to give a clue, along with the uh, red front Honda badge, um, as to the non-standard nature of this car. Over here, we have a 1200 watt um, Kenwood amp, five channel, uh, which also powers this uh, 10 inch sub. And uh, that just provides enough power to uh, be able to run the uh, speakers that uh, are neatly fitted into the doors with plenty of sound deadening. So, you know, it's all been about quality and, um, you know, discretion. You can't see this stuff if you walk past this car, but I've often taken it to car meets and stuff here in Japan, and people, uh, I find people always standing around <laughs> and just looking at it and just noticing one by one all the little mods that uh, exist on it. So I think that pretty much covers it. So I'm going to take you for a drive now and uh, let's enjoy some of the um, beautiful cherry blossoms that uh, are seasonal at the moment. So yeah, she goes pretty well, as you can see. Um, pulls really well all the way to 9,000. I do wonder sometimes, you know, obviously, you know, as a car enthusiast, we all like more power and more torque. And uh, if I was gonna do it again, what engine would I fit? Would I fit the same? Or would I go a little bit less original and fit an 18BC Integra Type R engine, or even a hybrid with a block from a Prelude or something like that. The thing is, I like to keep air conditioning and I like to keep power steering. Um, and those things, you know, especially the power steering, it starts to foul the bonnet when the engine gets, gets higher and stuff like that. So you start making compromises. 
And, you know, for me, it's form and function that are important. So, um, I'm gonna just stick with this engine, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty good. One thing I really like is the, um, this gearbox. It became so sweet after fitting the um, Synchrotech uh, Synchromesh. And they were, these things were developed um, around about you know, sort of the late 90s by Honda, who very cleverly um, realized that by putting carbon fiber um, on the inside of the synchro ring, this would cause a break, a breaking effect that's greater than brass against steel, obviously bathed in oil from the gearbox. Um, what that breaking effect does, if you understand how synchro mesh works, or if you've taken a gearbox apart, is the synchro mesh will break faster which means the synchromesh will synchronize gears faster than conventional brass synchromesh. Sorry for all that gobbledygook, but uh, hopefully you'll understand. There, as I say, is a company called Synchrotech, and they make um, kits to fit this gearbox and various other Honda gearboxes. Um, but I saw no reason really to change to any other gearbox, for example, an Integra Type R gearbox. I just used the original gearbox, took it apart, fitted the synchro mesh, and it's sweet as an oven. We have a lot more to share with you. Click the subscribe button below so you'll never miss out on any of our video series.